Now, three weeks today, it'll be the opening ceremony of the London Olympics, and tonight we meet one of the North West's big medal hopes. Liverpool's Tom Stalker is the very proud captain of Great Britain's boxing team, and today he stepped up his preparations thanks to a training session with a difference. Daniel Hewitt reports. The gloves are on, but for completely different reasons. Tom Stalker may fight like a caged animal, but he doesn't make a great caged boxer. Well, do is grab your head straight away. As the Olympics draw nearer, the Liverpool light welterweight is locked into a tight training schedule, which involves work both in and out of the ring. <laughs> I've always wanted to get in the cage, and, and he showed me some great, um, great moves. So. Um, I'll be thinking after after my boxing career is over, I might have a little go in the UFC. <laughs> if I was fighting Tom, I'd be like, I'm, I'm going to stand with Tom. I'll try and take him down to the ground just because his boxing's so good. So, he's, like in a, a few weeks, he's going to be fighting for, in the Olympics, which he, he was going to win gold. I'll be punched with this hand. Tom is favourite for gold this summer, but the road to London has been long and fraught with difficulty. Before I was boxing, I was, I was going out, I was doing silly things from the age of 16 to 19. I was a bit of a tear away, and then when I was when I was like 18, my nan dad and uh, my girlfriend had me, 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 me was pregnant with my little girl, and I thought, right, am I going to carry on hanging around with these sorts of people, or am I going to go to the boxing gym? Having not taken up the sports until he was 19, it was a boy two years his junior who ignited an Olympic ambition. I'd, I'd only been boxing, like been in the gym a few times, and um, to see him just do so well and. He, he gripped the nation, he gripped, gripped me and my brothers. We were running around the room screaming, wanting them to do well, and that drove me to want, want to box and go to the gym. This is not the kind of fighting we'll see from Tom in London, but this level of dedication is the mark of a man who'll do anything and go anywhere to achieve his Olympic dream. I am living proof that I'm just a kid from height in Liverpool, and I, I went, when I first started boxing, I went, I went even that good. I, I was like, for the, before my first fight, my coach didn't even want me to box because he didn't think I was, I'd be ready. And, and I've just, it just it, if you work at something and, you, and you, you give your life to something, you do get the reward. And for Tom, that reward is less than four weeks away. Daniel Hewitt, Granada Reports, Liverpool.